Hello students, today I am here with one of the amazing tricks which will enable you to remember the algebraic identities throughout life. This trick makes use of one or two basic concepts in algebra. I shall be dealing with the basic concepts first and after that we shall come to the process through which we can remember these identities well. Even when we forget these identities in examination, we can derive those identities say within two minutes of time. So instead of leaving the questions on based on identities, you can derive the identities then and there and solve the problems. The first concept which is used for deriving the identities is that of knowing the expansions of a plus b whole square, a plus b whole cube, a plus b power 4 and so on. The thing to remember here is the expansion of a plus b whole square contains three terms. The number of terms contained in any expansion is always one more than the degree. So if the power here is 2 then we have three terms. If the power is 3 then we have four terms and so on. If the power is 4 we have five terms. This is the relationship between the degree of a polynomial and the uh, degree of the expansion. So after remembering this concept, the second concept we must know is that of Pascal's triangle. Pascal's triangle is one of the very widely used concept in mathematics, but unfortunately this concept does not come up to 10th grade. Only in 11th grade in one of the chapters uh, Pascal's triangle is mentioned. So class 8th onwards if Pascal's triangle is taught, I think it will solve a lot of problems. What is Pascal's triangle now? What we do is, we have to draw rows and in these rows, we start with 1 and we keep on increasing one number in each row. The first and the last will be 1, like this row had one number so it is one second row has two numbers so this is one and one because we need to start and end with one now the third row it will contain three numbers we have to start with one in between we have to take the sum of these two one plus one gives us two and we have to end with one likewise if we move forward, we can expand this Pascal's triangle to any number of terms. Say in the next one, we will have four numbers. The first one will be one. Obviously, we have to start with one. Then one plus two gives us three. We have to write it in between this one and two. Then two plus one gives us three. And we have to end with one. Similarly, the fifth row will have first number as one. Then one plus three will give us 4, 3 plus 3 will give us 6, 3 plus 1 will give us 4 and we have to end with 1 and so on we can expand this Pascal's triangle. So now if we know these two concepts we can carry on with the derivation of algebraic identities. First concept which we learned is that the number of terms in any expansion is always one more than the degree. And the second concept is that of Pascal's triangle, which I just demonstrated. Now let us make use of these two concepts to arrive at the expansion of a plus b whole square. Now as you know the degree is 2 here. So degree is 2, that means 2 plus 1, 3 terms. There will be 3 terms here. So I am just underlining 3 terms. We will have 3 terms here. The expansion of a plus b whole square will come in these 3 terms only. Now, the line, the row which contains three terms is 1, 2, 1. So basically these three numbers are the coefficients of these three terms. 1, 2, 1. So I write 1 here, 2 here and 1 here. So these are the coefficients and the remaining steps are very easy. The first 
term here is a the highest power is 2 a highest power is 2 so i write a square then reduce the power of a here we have a square and here we will have only a that is degree 1 and here a will not come because a will have degree 0 so that vanishes similarly the second term here is b what we do is we start with b square from the last term and then keep on reducing the degree of b by 1 in each term so here it is b square here it will be b and here there will be no b because the degree of b will be 0 and in between we put all positive signs because in an expansion of a plus b whole square we cannot have any negative term now just remove this 1 because we don't need to write 1 it is obvious that the coefficient is 1 so that we arrive the, exp we arrive the ex expansion of this uh, uh, term so this is the first formula which uh, we have to remember a plus b whole square now i will demonstrate this method once more for the benefit of my students those who have not understood or partially understood this method till, till now now a plus b whole cube now see students the degree here is 3 degree plus 1 so 3 plus 1 4 so number of terms will be 4 now here 4 terms we start with a degree highest power is 3 then in the second term we will have a square in the third term we will have a and in the fourth term we will not have any a because the degree will be 0 then start with b from here b cube highest power is always 3 then reduce by 1 b square b and no b here and for the coefficients we have to look for the Pascal's triangle there are 4 terms and the line which contains 4 terms are 1, 3, 3, 1 so we write 1, we don't need to write 1 1, 3, 3 and 1 and just put a positive sign in between all terms and we have the identity a plus b whole cube is a cube plus 3 a square b plus 3 a b square plus b cube these are the identities in which the students struggle to remember the exact sequence of terms so if you remember how the degree of A reduces and how the degree of B increases and how do we come to the coefficients then I think this is as easy as possible. Now coming to A minus B whole square. Again do the same. A highest power is 2. Reduce by 1. Then no A in the third term. B we have B square here, B here and no B here. 3 terms, coefficient 1 to 1, 1, 2 and 1 and now the difference between a plus b whole square and a minus b whole square is the sign which we are putting here. In a plus b whole square we have all positive signs but when we have negative sign then we write alternatively positive and negative signs. So the first term will be positive, second term will be negative and third term will be positive. So here we arrive at the formula for a minus b whole square a square minus 2ab plus b square. Now I think a minus b whole cube will be very easy for you. a highest power is 3 reduced by 1 reduced by 1 a vanishes. Start from here b highest power is 3 reduced by 1 reduced by 1 no b here 4 terms 1 3 3 1 1 3 3, 1 and negative sign so alternatively we have to put positive and negative signs so positive negative positive negative here is the expansion of a minus b whole cube simultaneously we can derive the formula for a cube plus b cube and a cube minus b cube using these two identities only a plus b whole cube and a minus b whole cube these two identities can give us these two results also which we shall be learning in the next video that is trick number 12 until then you practice writing these four identities a plus b whole square a minus b whole square a plus b whole cube and a minus b whole cube so that when you arrive at these two identities you don't have any problem 
keep learning students keep enjoying and share subscribe and tell to your friends about this youtube channel if you like it